Hey folks, how you doing? I'm G-Shock and tonight you're watching Grey Goo. Let's play of the campaign. Um, yeah, I promised uh, I promised some stream tonight. Um, wasn't sure if it was gonna be Grey Goo or um, Heroes, but um, it's Grey Goo. So um, let's check out Grey Goo. Um, but first off, um, let me give you some some tiny bit of information. Uh, by the way, if the audio levels are off, just tell me. I'll try to um, just get it fixed up. Alright folks, so what is Grey Goo? Um, we're not straying too far off the formula here, it's uh, basically um, old school RTS. Um, kind of oriented along the lines of um, Command and Conquer, but you'll definitely see some similarities and parallels to StarCraft. Just because you have a sci-fi setting and everything. So Grey Goo um, was developed by Petroglyph um, over the past years. And it is published by Greybox, and I actually met met both of these guys um, at Gamescom since I was able to um, cast the game in German for them. So I do have a little bit of experience with the game, but um, let's see what that tiny bit of polish they put into it uh, since I think fall of 2014 uh, has gotten in, gotten us into. And um, let's check out the campaign. Alright, let me switch over here. Hopefully this all works out. I haven't tested anything beforehand, so um, I do hope that everything works straight away. Um, Vertexes, I'm not raffling off keys uh, today, but tomorrow. And we'll. Um, I also do um, a beta keys on, on my Facebook channel, so if you missed that, there was one tonight. Okay, do you want to go for hard difficulty straight away? I think we should. Oh, by the way, um, I'm not talking during cutscenes. I want you guys to enjoy them as much as I do. So let's get started here. Standard Rafa Ar Astadu. Ivariatka Kutri. Aid Sakmirat of Miri. Astabahi Matira Dura. Eth Fira Undurirat. Safiro Esarok. Rutim Tulu. Sakurata? Sakurataba? Sakuratusa. Chatralke Dasat? Tasko da Otos. Dradu Skal. Ekos. Yumidat! Lukidu Libanas and Himo Du kapani da eni surutu. Du la fina karima da. Hiri taruk in Finland maka abrantanga. Ia visu sinja du aramali. Pasuki mirak du libadas. All right. So, you can say we already have some sweet, sweet cinematics. Alert! I'm at Hunter's Valley with eight other survivors from the Proving Grounds. No major injuries. Alert. Sarok! I'm glad you're okay. Word of the attack has reached the keep. Some of the settlements in the lowlands can't be reached. Communications are a mess. Baz Barker is at Magsky and marshalling crews toward your position but I have yet to get him on the comms. In the meantime, establish a headquarters in Hunter's Valley. Sarok, are we ready for this? Oh, I'm getting a signal from Barker. Stand by. All right, looks like we have to be ready here. First map is the battle at Hunter's Valley. And you can see, I mean, they really put amazing work into these cutscenes. And by the way, the um, the whole language they speak, um, these guys are the beta, 
um, one of the alien races. Um, the whole language is uh, essentially a, a real language, so they made up whole grammar for it, uh, vocabulary and so forth. Um, when I met the guys at Greybox, um, they were very, very proud of this. So, um, something to just point out here. And I'm, I mean, they don't have to, <laughs> they don't have to stand back when it comes to cutscenes, that was pretty amazing. Alright, so let's load into the game. Um, I'll probably have to fix the cam, just to give you a heads up, since I don't know where exactly I should position it. But uh, I think we'll get that figured out. Okay, loading times are a little through the roof, but um, I didn't move it to my SSD, so it's probably why it's taking so long. Alright, so um, a little bit about the story. I mean, um, Grey Goo, the title of the game, sounds a little bit silly, but when you think about it and actually read it up on Wikipedia and whatnot, it's um, it's about uh, nanites and nanites getting out of control, and this is essentially what the game is all I about. Have Baz Barker on comms. Sir, I'm sorry. I had to detonate the catalyst at the proving facility. If this is the silent ones, it was a necessary sacrifice. You made the right choice. I need your focus on the outer fields. We must ensure nothing else breaches the keyhole. Aran Saruk, I'm afraid the loss of the supply yards at the proving grounds has reduced our sky crane capacity in that area. You're going to have limited resources for a while. We'll make do. Let's get this base operational, then we can scout out what came through the keyhole. Okay, they do speak English now, so that's uh, helping out quite a bit. Um, I think we'll just... Uh, get away from these tutorials, um, since I do know the basics at least. So um, you'll notice that the the whole setup down here um, is everything is just centered around um, your hotkeys um, on Q W E R T. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, if I want if I want to build a structure, I just press Q, and I have the first building down here, which is also on Q, since these are Q W E R T again. So um, that's that's essentially how it works. Now, uh, in the beginning, I have to attach this one to the, um, to my main hub, the headquarters, and later on the beta, which we are playing right now, they can just place buildings everywhere, everywhere they want to, essentially. So um, give me a sec here. I'll will fix the cam just to get it lined up there. Um, wait, that's this one, and we'll just do it like oops. Yes. Extractor complete. Down here. Whoops, that was a little bit too much. Okay, I think that's that's fine. Looks good. Okay. So, whoops, let's get started with the game here. Um, so our first objective is just to seek and destroy the enemy base. Okay, that sounds simple enough. And um, so what you want to do here is just expand your base. Um, and what, what we need to do is essentially uh, build another hub so we can uh, place down structures. Uh, but it looks like the hubs are currently disabled, so we'll just go for a factory, um, produce our first unit, and see if we can scout out another resource um, location. So resources are essentially this gas and these, these pools. and Workers are built automatically for you, so it will it will automatically send adjust to the distance to the resource field, and then I think the resources also respawn, so you always have um, you always have some resource income. All right, let's We've produce our first unit. Here. We need to find room to expand. Okay, they're already telling us to expand. Um, I do have a little bit of money left, so I'm just gonna... Usually I would just go for um, more uh, extractors right now, but since uh, we don't have the first unit to scout anything out yet, I'll just go for a factory and, um, well, have a little bit of an aggressive opening. Not that it really matters in the campaign, but we'll make do. Alright, let's set our um, spawning point, and that's the first unit. Uh, this is a stalker. Very mobile. Oh, that's already the first enemies coming in. Looks like it's um looks like we're battling humans here. 
Uh, next factory is uh, done as well. Now, um, special thing here is the developers want you to really focus on army positioning, um, base building, and whatnot. So you can set your factories to auto produce, and you can tell it you can tell it just what to produce. And this factory can only produce one unit at a time. But it looks like they changed it a little bit. Um, maybe you can set it to auto produce different units now. Um, We'll have to check that out later on once we actually have a couple of units to, to test this out. So this is a cliff. Okay, elevation. Well, we have the elevation advantage. Maybe a unit passes by if we... Yep, exactly, that's what's happening. Should have stayed there. Now it might be a little bit troublesome for us to actually do some damage, but... We have a couple more stalkers to advance here. And if you press Z now, you actually have... Um, um, you actually get an indicator of where resource fields are on the map, and I like that quite a bit. Okay, now they're hiding in the bushes. This is also um, one of the things that uh, sets Gru Grey Group quite apart. You need vision uh, in the forest if you want to take out enemies that are hidden inside. Alright, but um, the next resource field is up here, so we'll have to do quite a bit of walking. Okay, let's move this one back, just to save it. Oh, no, move back into the trees here. And we'll take this one out as well. Let's actually use this cover here. I think that's pretty good. Um, meanwhile, we're still producing more and more uh, guys, so we'll try to follow up. And we can produce an outpost, finally. Okay, these guys actually got, ris they got rid of the vent plug here for us. That's nice. So maybe we should have just let them fire at it. But... Alright, let's go for a small hub. So, UQE. Well, why should I really place it up here? Well, we need a little bit of space, so I guess it makes sense. Um, how about there? And let's destroy this vent plug. Now, the important thing is, all of these guys are connected. So, if you... Um, if you place an extractor up here and one up here, this is gonna drain faster since this is one gas pool. But I think we can do it nevertheless, but we also need more factories, so I'll just produce a, fa a factory down here. Once that small hub is ready in five seconds. Um, we'll leave a little bit of defense down here just to uh, deal with aggressors. Oh, we have nothing to shoot in the air. So um, we'll have to find a way to deal with that later on. And uh, you need vision, of course, if you want to place this down. But oh, this, this is something new now. Uh, it shows you how much resources are mined from that um, from that position. So I'll just we have a lot of money on the bank, so um, no reason not to spend it. Oh, give me a sec. I'm messing this up a little bit here, but we'll just build a medium hub. Move out. Assist. Check. New direction. All right. Okay, so we don't have any Move tech attachments out. just yet. Check. Um, the way this Unit usually detection. works is... Oh, let's move this one back. It's already gotten Check. quite a bit of damage in. Tell me um... The way tech attachments work for uh, humans and betas is that you need these attached to the hub itself to build um, to build the corresponding units. So if you have an air attachment, that's what you need to build air units. Um, if you have a tank attachment, that's what you need to build um, tank-like units. So that's how it works. And um, the larger the hub, the more attachments you can have on one hub. So let's... well... You want to destroy the whole wall? Maybe. I don't know. We'll just add a couple more stalkers to our mix here. And also, completely forgot to actually produce something in this factory. So middle mouse button gives you the um, recurrent production. And that's what we're doing here for this commando. And our hub is now done as well. So let's place down another extractor. And we'll set it over here. This is going to drain this uh, resource field quite fast, but we don't really care right now. Um, this is the first mission. It shouldn't be too hard. But then again, we did set it on hard. Oh, let's stay in the, in the forest here. Okay. And let's set a rally point as well. How are we doing on production? I think we're doing pretty good. Still five per second. Okay. Last part of the wall has been breached. 
There's another resource field down here, so maybe we can do something there. Oh, this is an howitzer. Um, so artillery, you want to get close, take it out as fast as you can. Alright, we could place another extractor down here, and I think this is uh, something we should aim for. So, whoops, let's go for it. QQE. Um, let's see. Whoops. Oh, not bad. Oh, jeez. Where is that guy? Where's the last howitzer? Oh, over here. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you can see it takes it does quite a bit of damage, but um, it's not too bad if you just react to it. Okay. Okay, but now we also have to repair some structures, uh, which you can do over here. It's also Alt R apparently, so let's do this. Yep, that works. Awesome. And place another extractor down here. And mine 13 resources per second there. Oh, okay, these guys do quite a bit of damage. Let's send some units up here. Oh, this one can't actually do anything. Oh, we need more units up here. Otherwise, uh, we might get into a, uh, might we might run into trouble. We don't actually need this much production down here, but since it's already starting, we'll just leave a couple guys back and get the rest up here. Is that thing still standing? Barely. I don't know if we have enough to stop this, but these guys are kind of stupid, they're just standing there. This is a little bit of time to do something here. Hey, for zero. Hey, Kazanix. Uh, we need to take this guy out. Kind of getting on my nerves. Um, and down here, let's start production. Oh, yeah, we have a tank attachment, so why not produce a small factory and get some units out. And we'll set this guy on the wall, since he already took some damage, and now we make the most of him. Since that wall is being repaired, um, this one is also being repaired again. Yes, sweet. Okay, um, how's our income doing? Still pretty good, so we'll produce predators from now on. Let's switch over to complete predator production, since we do have that tank attachment over here. And this one is almost done. Can I select all of them? Group. Yeah, can. Awesome. Do we have something to order. shoot these guys? No, not yet. Oh, we have an howitzer again. Uh, it's probably hiding down here. I don't know if we can stubborn step this. Let's go, go into the forest and take out this howitzer. As you can see, we're taking maximal losses here, but I think with the economy we have right now, I'm not even spending all of it. I think we're still doing pretty good. Alright, um, there's another resource field over here, but we're still not spending all of it, so um, I'll just produce more and more factories um, to follow this up, and as you can see, this the hotkey setup just works really well. Okay, there are more units over here, let's take them out. Um, maybe we should actually finish this wall, that might be a good idea, since this guy can't really shoot over here. And, well, they're just taking forever. Oh! These guys are still over here. How oh, about we have, have them added to the whole thing? Doesn't look like the enemy will be attacking over here. Okay, now we have our first predator on the field. Get a couple more out. Um, yep. We'll go total predator production. This seems to be what the developers want us to do. Uh, still not spending all of it. I don't know if there is an, um, if there is a unit cap. We'll have to see. There might not be. I'm not too sure. Thought there was when when I played it, but it doesn't look like there is a unit cap. Unit under attack. Okay. There's a repair pad over here. I didn't actually realize that we have a repair pad, but it's unpowered, so maybe I'll have to add it to a hub. Unit ready. Mm, yeah, looks like Unit looks like ready. that works. Okay, we have a massive army now. They're still hiding a couple guys up here, and let's just move move out and kill them. I think we might have enough. Now we're at a point where we're not gaining too many more resources, so I think we should be fine. We still have nothing to deal with these with these um, aircraft, so that's something to keep in mind. And we finally found his base. Concentrate fire on the larger buildings. Yeah, uh, what we can do instead of concentrating fire on the larger buildings, like he says, just destroy the conduit 
and then the buildings get on power. So now we can't mine from this extractor. And that's that's basically how um, base building works for uh, for humans. But uh, they still have a heavy sentinel over here, so we'll focus that out and then go for the um, conduit over here. Okay, let's go for the conduit. He still has a few units down here, but it's nothing too worrisome, so we'll just uh, go for the conduits now and we'll just rally everything over here and should be fine to just clear everything out. So we've not met the um, name-giving faction yet, the goo. I do hope we get to see him soon, but I would assume so. Okay, he can oh, obviously still produce from the buildings that are attached to his main base. So maybe we can just um, focus that. We think we can. I'll just focus the main base from now on. Maybe take this guy out and then go for it. Okay, he's trying to build a heavy sentinel. Oh, since he tried to attack, um, attach another stealth attachment. There's a supply cap. Okay, so it's still the same. Oh, it's over here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there is a supply cap. How did I not realize that? Okay, we took out the main buildings. Apparently, we might have to take out all the buildings. I'm not too sure. Uh, is there something else we might have missed here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there we go. Operation succeed. Great success. So let's see what else we can do here. We were ambushed. There must be more of the silent ones. They'll attack our settlements, aren't they? They will. I'm ordering an evacuation. I need you to buy us time and hunt down those landers. This is kind of weird. They talked their own language in the first cutscene, and now in the second one they talk English. Hmm. Don't really get it. Alright, so first victory. Let's look at the stats. Oh, there were bonus missions. Oh, I see. Never really showed the bonus mission, did it?